Hi, we are now going to be talking about complements. Okay, so let's say you have a number x, okay, and the number uh, is given at decimal value 12. So in binary representation, we say that is equivalent to 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 0. Okay, how do I get the one complement? So the one complement, okay, uh, is basically a invert of each of the numbers here. So a zero will become a one, 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 and the ones will become zeros. Okay, so that gives you your ones complement. Uh, if you look at the theoretical way of uh, doing it, we say that uh, in terms of ones complement, <laughs> the negative x is given as two to the power of n minus x minus one, where n is the number of bits. So, in this case, since it's an 8-bit uh, representation, we say that that is 256 <coughs> minus x, which is 12 minus 1. And that gives us 243. And 243 in binary representation is this. Okay, so you get the same answer. So, the easiest way, of course, is to do a direct bit-by-bit uh, -bit translation where... Uh, a complement where the 0 becomes 1 and the 1 becomes 0 and that gives your answer. The mathematical approach also gives you the same answer. Okay, how about the 2's complement? Okay, so let's look at 2's complement. 2's uh, complement uh, is just one more step from 1's complement where we say the 1's complement uh, answer you plus 1 to it. So if I plus 1 to it, what do I get? I get 0 carry 1 and 1 plus 1, 0 carry 1. And that gives me 1, 0, 1, 1, 1. Okay, so that is your 2's complement answer. 1, 1, 1, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0. Okay, in terms of the mathematical approach uh, to 2 complement, it is given as 2 to the power of n minus x. So in this case, it is 2, 5, 6 minus 12, which will give you 2, 4, 4. And that is also uh, gives you the same representation as the two's complement approach uh, that we did earlier. Okay, so uh, in both these representations, what do we know? Okay, we know that in an 8 bit uh, form, okay, 8 bit form, we have 7 bits uh, to represent the number, okay, the full 7 bits here, okay, and 1 bit is to represent the size. Okay, and we know that uh, 0 is a positive and 1 is a negative. Okay, so the moment you see a 0 here, you know it's a po positive number. And the moment you see a 1, you know it's a negative number. Okay, so let's look a bit of the, at the range of numbers that we can get for the 2's complement. Okay, so we know that Think of the range as uh, a circle, okay? Uh, so let me draw a circle here. Uh -huh. And imagine that right now I split this into two halves, okay? Uh, where I start off with zero, okay, go to one, go to two, and the largest number that I can get. So what's the largest number I can get? So the largest number I can get, okay, would be, uh, when the most significant bit is 0 and the rest are all 1. So that is the largest positive number I can get. Okay, And that largest positive number is equivalent to positive 1 to 7. Okay, how about, uh, so this positive 1 to 7 is right here at this point here. Now, when I say that this circle is split into half, that means this side is all positive. And the left hand side are all negative numbers. Okay, so the right hand side are all the positive numbers. Okay, so 127 or positive 127 is the largest uh, positive number I can get, which means when I add 1, okay, and I come over, okay, to the other side, the first number that I get would be the smallest negative number possible in the system. So how do I compute that so I plus 1 to this 
So when I plus one to this, what do I get? I get zero carry one, zero carry one, and that carry one carries on all the way. Okay, so until the last one comes here and this is the answer I get. Now what do we see here? We see okay that the most significant bit here is a one. Okay, so this indicates that it is a negative number. Okay, in one's complement and two's complement format, whenever you see that the most significant bit is a one, we know it's a negative. To find the equivalent positive number representation, what we need to do is we need to do that complement one more time. So in this case, since it's a two's complement representation, I need to do the two's complement again one more time on this number. Okay, so when I do the two's complement on this, what do I get? I get 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, and then I add 1 again. So I, I am sort of 1 plus 1, 0 carry 1, 0 carry 1, so that will carry on all the way. And this is the answer that I get. So this is equivalent to 128. But since I know that the first uh, most significant bit is negative, it translates to me having a negative sign here. So that is the smallest negative number and plus 127 is the largest positive number that I can get in a two's complement number system. Okay, so that, uh, I hope that sort of uh, helps you uh, get a basic understanding on uh, one's complement, two's complement and uh, how to go about doing the conversion. Okay, thank you.